Assalamualaikum and good day. I'm Sir Shafi'i. Are you happy to see me? I'm very happy to see all of you again. For today, I have sugar as a solute. I have hot water as a solvent. I'll be preparing something special for you all. Let's start. First, let's put in a tablespoon of sugar and pour a sum of hot water in the glass. Don't forget to stir. Now, our solution is ready. If you want to prepare a solution in the lab, you have to use a volumetric flask. If you know the exact mass of solute, the solution prepared is standard solution. Experiment 2. Acid-based titration. Determination of concentration of hydrochloric acid solution. Part A. Preparation of standard solution. Step 1. Weigh 3.25 gram of hydrated oxalic acid. Place the oxalic acid in a 50 ml beaker. Step 2. Add approximately 30 ml of distilled water and stir to dissolve. Remember to rinse all apparatus and all solute. Then pour into this volumetric flask. Step 3. Transfer the solution into a 250 ml volumetric flask. Step 4. Rinse the beaker, glass rod, filter funnel and pour the content into the flask. To ensure all solid is transferred into the volumetric flask, remember yeah, to rinse all apparatus. Step 5. Add more distilled water into the volumetric flask. Use dropper when almost reach up to the graduated mark of flask. Add distilled water up to calibrated mark by using dropper, dropper, dropper. Make sure you know the correct position. Again, I say the correct position of the calibrated mark. Step 6. Replace the stopper and tilt the flask to obtain a homogeneous solution. Stopper and tilt a few times. Part B. Standardization of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Step 1. Rinse the burette with small amount of sodium hydroxide solution. Step 2. Fill the burette with sodium hydroxide solution. Precaution. Make sure the stop cock is in horizontal position or close. Ensure there are no air bubbles trapped at the tip. Check. No air bubble at the tip. Step 3. Record the initial reading to two decimal places. Pour oxalic acid from part A into a beaker. Step 4. Pipe 25 ml of oxalic acid. Check! No air bubble at the tip. Then, transfer the oxalic acid solution into a conical flask. Add 2 drops of phenolphthalein. Step 5. Place white towel beneath the conical flask. Titrate the oxalic acid with the sodium hydroxide solution. Swirl the flask continuously until pale pink solution appear. Step 6. Record the final reading to two decimal places. Example, 30.50 ml. Part C. Determination of molar concentration of HCl solution. Step 1. Fill the burette with sodium hydroxide solution. Record the initial reading to two decimal places. Step 2. Pipette 25 ml of HCl, then transfer the acid solution into a conical flask. 
add two drops of phenolphthalein. Step three, repeat steps five and six as in part B. Step four, calculate the concentration of hydrochloric acid.